If you have to deal with a catastrophic bleed on a leg or an arm and you don't have a commercial tourniquet, you can use an improvised tourniquet. In these examples, we're using a triangular bandage from a first aid kit, but you could use something like a tie or a scarf. But you need to make sure that when you tighten it up, you use something very strong. A pen would probably just break, so use something like a spoon or a screwdriver. The important thing with the tourniquet is to apply them quickly as delay will lead to more blood loss. Apply them above the injury site but not over a joint. So if there's an injury just below the knee, we need to put it onto the thigh. If you're treating an injury on a joint, then place the tourniquet above the joint. To make a tourniquet using a triangular bandage or whatever you have, take it out of the package, roll it up so it's one long line. Wrap that round the limb and tie a half knot and then lay something over it to act as a windlass, like a spoon, and then tie another half knot. Using the windlass, wind it round until it's tight enough to stop the bleeding. This is going to hurt, but it will stop the bleeding and it's vital we get this done as soon as possible to maintain as much blood in the body as possible. Once it's tight, we just tie off the ends to hold it securely in place. Tourniquets are only removed by a doctor in a hospital under controlled circumstances. If you need to, you can add a second tourniquet and you place it above the first one. Note the time that you have applied the tourniquet and tell this to the emergency medical services. Once you've applied the tourniquet, look after the patient, keep them warm and keep talking to them. Finally, if they've not already been called, make sure the emergency services are on their way.